Hey all, welcome back to another episode of Vertiva's Tech Tips. In this week's episode, I'm going to be teaching you how to use Microsoft ClipChamp, their non-linear digital editing based software to quickly create videos for your presentations, websites, or even videos for YouTube, just like this one. There's three different ways that you can access ClipChamp. Uh, you can do it with a personal Microsoft account by visiting www.clipchamp.com. Uh, you can also download uh, the ClipChamp app through the Microsoft Store uh, on any Windows computer. Uh, and you also have the ability recently to access it with your Microsoft 365 uh, enterprise or business accounts. Uh, that is that is in targeted release as of January 2024, but that will be coming later this year. So to get started, we're going to be using the Windows Store version of ClipChamp today. Uh, I have that pulled open already. You can see a couple of different videos that I have in here. They also give you the options to use different templates for things like YouTube, Instagram, gaming. You can create your own video from scratch, or you can also create one with AI. For today's purposes, what we're going to be doing is we are going to be demoing how to create a video from scratch so we can kind of walk you through the entire process. So when I go to create a video from scratch, the first thing you'll see is kind of in the center here. This is a blank video. There's nothing here. Uh, for those of you that have used any sort of editing program before, nonlinear based digital editing programs such as Final Cut Pro, Adobe Premiere, DaVinci Resolve, this will look very similar to you. Uh, down here you can kind of see your cut tools, your delete tools, your add segments, and this is your timeline. Uh, moving over to the right side of the screen, um, so again, we're looking kind of at the sequencing window here. Uh, you have the ability to select different aspect ratio format. So again, depending on where you're posting, you may want to change this. Perfect example is when we post YouTube shorts on the channel is we would use 9 by 16. Uh, over on the far left side, we can see across the menu items here. Uh, media that you can import that can be video, audio, images, GIFs, etc. Uh, you also have the ability to record and create your own media using either your own screen and camera together or separate. Uh, you also have the ability to record your own audio directly in ClipChamp if you don't have another similar program, something like Audacity. Uh, and you also have the ability, which is fairly new here, is the ability to uh, use text to speech. Um, over here on the left hand side, you can also see that you have access to a pretty wide variety of different t content types. Uh, so ClipChamp selects is something that's fairly new. You also get the ability to kind of use stickers. Uh, and then there's quite a few different pieces of music and sound effect complements in here, as well as a number of different kind of um, overlays, GIFs, etc. Now, one of the things that you'll notice if we click into one of these, uh, we'll click into music, for example, is there are quite a few different music categories here, but as you click in and you go a little bit deeper, you'll start to see these kind of little gold diamonds show up on some things. What that means is that means you would need to upgrade to take advantage of that. That's what Microsoft or ClipChamp considers premium content. As part of those premium content pieces, you will also get the ability to back up your content uh, to upgrade. You can do that directly within the app. Or if you're using a Microsoft 365 subscription, you can set up a premium add-on for ClipChamp, $7.99 per user per month. Uh, there are also, we talked about this at the beginning, there's also a number of different templates that you can select from here. So if you were creating specific videos for say YouTube, uh, you come in here and they already have a bunch of pre-built templates that you could just click and apply and you can kind of see with a hover over is that stuff automatically moves to kind of show you what it's gonna look like. Text, you have a number of different text-based effects. These can be titles, lower thirds, two-line mirror. You can add your own captions, which is also another really nice uh, extra effect that you get with ClipChamp is after you actually drop a video into a timeline, you have the ability to just add and caption your entire video. Uh, they have a wide variety of different transitions that you can use. If you've never used a video editing program before, essentially you can cut two video clips together and then drag a transition over the top of them. 
and those will end up kind of putting a neat effect on it and kind of same as before if you hover over them you can see uh, one of the things that I'm not super pleased about with ClipChamp is just there's a little bit more of an emphasis on like the really nice transitions uh, are going to be locked behind premium paywalls and that's something that you'll kind of see throughout the program as we demo brand kits is something that is exclusively locked behind premium contents to kind of wrap your head around this what a brand kit is is it lets you add your own custom fonts add your own custom colors and add your own logos there are certainly ways that you can get around that in certain ways shape or form by creating your own kind of graphics outside and then bringing them in and just dropping them over the top of your content with a matte layer behind it Okay, so the next thing that I want to show you is I'm going to click back to media and I am going to actually import something to the timeline here. So to import, as simple as clicking on import media and then finding a piece of content that you want to add to the timeline and then just clicking open. After you add that in, you can see it show up. If I want to add additional media here, I can do that as well. Or again, I have the ability to kind of drop into my content library. So if I want to add a song here, I can. When you click add, it actually automatically adds it to your timeline, but it will also show up in your media. And you can kind of see that it was importing there as well. So if I wanted to record an additional clip here as well, I can click on camera and it should be activating my camera here. Uh, once it activates the camera, you'd see the ability to kind of start recording. So another thing, if you want to add something more to kind of like your traditional bin container, uh, you can come over to content library. We added music. So let's say that we actually want to add an animated GIF. So let's see if we can add a like and subscribe button. So we're just going to simply search like and subscribe and then we're going to get a couple of different options here. What we're going to try and do is see if we can find a sticker because I find that those often work fairly well. We can see a nice one here. So we're going to click on plus. Something else we'll do here too is we'll grab just another kind of piece of content. So let's add an additional sticker here. We'll use clip champ selects and then we'll add some bells. So I'm going to click add to media here. And this is going to add it to my media library. And now it'll show back up when I click over here. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this like and subscribe button over here real quick so you can kind of see me threading through the timeline here. And I am going to drag in the video content that we added. Now, by default, ClipChamp video will have the audio and the video embedded into one sequence kind of like line on the timeline if you want to break that out you can kind of come up here to the additional effects layers choose audio and then you can detach it you also have the ability to increase or decrease the volume of the video here as well so if i wanted to bring this down to 50 percent i can bring it down for the entire clip and then if I wanted my clips to fade in and out, I can do that here as well. So it'll by default fade in and out from black. So let's edit some footage. So what I'm gonna do is I have one video in the timeline already. I'm going to bring another video into the timeline. And then what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna bring these in. I am going to cut a couple of pieces of that video up. And then we are going to cut our original footage here. And we are gonna splice in this small segment. You can see that you can easily resize clips here as well. So I'm gonna drop this in. And then what we're gonna do is we, since we now have two different pieces of content here, what we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna to wanna to transition between the two. So I'm gonna select transitions and we're gonna use a heart transition. I don't think that you would probably use this in most cases. Uh, unless you were making kind of a fun video, but if you're just making something for demo purposes, this is a good uh, kind of show of what that transition will look like. So as this plays through, what you're going to see is you're going to see the two videos transition with that heart. So now we can see that we're on a different video here. And if we wanted to go back and use another transition, it would be exactly the same. So I'm going to clip that video down and we're going to go back to the original video. Uh, and this time we're going to use a circle wipe. And now we're back on the first video. 
So that's just kind of an example of what transitions look like. Uh, next, we're gonna look at text just so you can kind of see what an overlay of a text would look like. So if I wanted to put a title to start this video, it'd be as simple as me just adding a title. Uh, again, it adds another kind of layer onto the timeline. I'm gonna hover over the top of that so you can see what it looks like. And we're gonna say, welcome to our video. Uh, you have the ability to choose from a number of different fonts here. There really is quite a lot to choose from. Again, if you want to use your own custom fonts, unfortunately, what you have to do is you have to use brand fonts. So we're gonna use Anton, but we can change the scale of the video. We can also move the title around. So if we want it to be close to the top, it can be. Uh, I'm gonna change the colors. Again, brand kits there. You can actually just use the color slider bar. So I'm gonna make this kind of like a bright lime green. Uh, and then as an accent color, I'm gonna change that to a purplish. Um, again, you can kind of position it where you want on the screen or you can just drag it around. Um, and then to uh, kind of show off the effects and the fade options here, I'm gonna have that title fade in over one second and I'm gonna have it fade out over one second. So what that means is when this shows up is it will slowly fade in rather than just pop in. And we'll see that right here. So you can kind of see that it had a little bit of an effect to it as well. And now it's going to fade itself back out. Uh, if we wanted to add some additional effects to our video, you can certainly do that, or you can just add it right actually on the video layer. So if I come over here into this area, and again, I'm just gonna do a quick slice. I'm gonna make this video look a little bit different. So I'm gonna come in here to filters and I am going to say, hey, I want this to look like a old Western. Uh, and again, it simply applied it. You have the ability to adjust the intensity, lower the intensity, and then as you play it in real time, you can see that effect is happening. And then as we scrub forward on the timeline is it returns to where it was. So again, you're gonna wanna take a look at the different effects that you have available to you as you click through them uh, and decide what is right for you. And you can put a filters and effects on the video. So if I wanna go back to our old Western, uh, we'll do warm in tone and then I drop down to effects. So I have old Western on and now I can blur the video. I can add a kind of a grainy look to it. Uh, I can add a blur, a color shift, uh, even a comic look. And again, you can kind of change the intensity on that to make it look different. Kind of a neat little like radial or vector graphics or retro graphics as well. So you can do a whole lot in here to modify the videos. Really, you're only limited by what those sliders can do. So again, if you're using a top of the line editing software such as like a Final Cut or a Premiere Pro, or even a DaVinci Resolve is you will really be able to fine tune things in here quite a bit more. Uh, one of the things I didn't showcase off was the ability is when you drag these kind of clips in or these stickers is it is as easy as just really moving them around to where you want and they auto animate, which is this is one of the things that I think that Clip Champ does really well over some other uh, more kind of like professional level video stuff is it just it makes all this stuff really easy and approachable whereas you might have to sit down and learn a different program and that can take some time so I'm just adding a couple of different effects up here um, just so you can kind of see what that looks like so uh, again I'll add a kind of quick fade in I won't fade these out just so you can kind of see what the difference is so what you're gonna see here is uh, these bells are going to fade in and they're auto animating. I didn't need to add any keyframes. And then the exact same thing here is happening with this YouTube subscribe button is it just kind of automatically came in. You're going to see the YouTube one fade out. You're going to see the bells just kind of pop out on their own. One last piece before we go, you've got your project here. You've created it. You've kind of got your title sequences. You've put in some neat effects into it. You've added music. So now you're probably thinking, okay, well, what can I do now? Um, I want to export the video so that I can get it somewhere. So again, make sure that you have your aspect ratio chosen here. Uh, you'll see again, it's gonna kind of automatically update. So you're gonna want what you put onto the timeline in the right spot. Um, but it's as simple as coming up here and hitting export. Uh, if you have gaps in your video, it will warn you. For the purpose of this, we're gonna continue anyways, just to export. And then you have the option that you can choose from 480p. Generally, you're gonna do that for smaller file sizes. 720p is gonna be a little bit bigger. Quality is gonna be a little bit better. Uh, and then you have the ability to also export at 1080. 
uh, or 4K. The 4K option, however, does require you to, again, have that, that premium subscription. So we're gonna do this at 720 just so it's a little bit quicker. Uh, it's gonna automatically start exporting. So this would be what you would consider the rendering process. You have the ability to, you have the ability to add a title up here. real time as that rendering is happening uh, and then you can also have the ability to kind of give it a file name so we gave it a title we're gonna give it the same exact file name here my first clip champ video and then I'm gonna tell it where I want it to save and I'm just gonna say you know what so I can get to it easy I'm gonna put it on my desktop we're gonna let the video finish rendering here and as it is done I will show you the final step to save all right, so the video is finishing rendering. So again, you kind of get an idea of what the length of the video is and what the size is gonna be. By default, ClipChamp will save your videos directly to your downloads folder. You can, of course, change that. Uh, but if you wanted to take this uh, and send it to a different destination, you can simply click send. It'll take that and it will send it to either your OneDrive, your desktop, etc. Right now I'm sending it to my OneDrive, so it's uploading that file that it automatically created here on my computer. So again, that's Microsoft FlipChamp. Uh, you have a variety of different options here that you can use for different departments in your organization. Or again, this is a freemium product that can be downloaded even without a Microsoft Enterprise or business license. Gives you a, uh, gives you a number of different options to create and edit video tons of free content in there and again you can upgrade to a premium version for those 4k exports in those more premium assets out there like stock video music uh, animated gifs etc if you like the content that we delivered today on clipchamp and you are looking for more content please feel free to hit those like and subscribe buttons or the bell for notifications if you're looking for even more help you can contact vertiva at let's talk at vertiva.com or visit our website at www.virteva.com. 